Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the energies between you and the person you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are you thinking about each other? What's going on in your connection? We'll be going over all of that. Keep in mind that this reading is general, so it will not resonate for every Aquarius watching. So keep that in mind as you watch the reading. And let's jump right in. Spirit, angels, guides. What guidance, what messages do you have for Aquarius regarding the person that you're thinking about connecting with at this time? What do we need to know of the energies between Aquarius and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? I need to know, sir. I need to know. Okay. Overall energies, eight of swords, three of swords. On your side, Aquarius, we have the lovers, Gemini energy with the four of swords. On their side, we have justice, Libra energy with the seven of wands. And the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the moon. Pisces energy there. So there's a lack of clarity about something, doubts, confusion illusions, things hidden beneath the surface, etc, etc. I think what's going on between you and this person, there's a lot of emotions here, but they're not necessarily good emotions. You know, it's either fear or heartache, <laughs> which both, you know, I wouldn't want to deal with either in a connection, right? And both of your energies are here. So I'm speaking kind of generally here. It could be your energy I'm picking up or their energy or a mix of both. But I feel like the moon is the major problem. There's something that's off here with the moon or unsaid or something that's not very clear. Not, you know, someone's not being very open about something or doesn't have like all of the facts. Um, so let's see what this is about. Yeah, the sun, this is about clarity. The opposite of the moon, right? The sun. Something needs to be like addressed. You know, the light needs to be like shining on this. Okay, let's see. Tell me about the moon. What do we need to know about the moon spirit? What do we need to know about this moon energy? Okay, I got three. Seven of swords, yep. Four of cups and the magician. I think that somebody did something secretly or hid something maybe um was deceptive in the past or maybe that's what led to this heartbreak this disappointment and the magician is telling me that it's it's almost like they were trying to accomplish something by doing this and maybe it bl like blew up in their face or it wasn't you know it didn't really work out the way that they hoped Maybe you're wondering if you're being played as well, you know, with this four of cups, especially I'm thinking like someone's like, I'm not really interested in whatever this is. Um, let's see, why is the three of swords here? Why is the three of swords here? The higher fonts, Taurus energy. Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Three of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles. So this is something here about like a committed partner, loyal partner, marriage. Maybe you were married to this person. Maybe this was someone that you were in a commitment with. I think something happened that was painful for both of you. The color red is really sticking out to me on the spread. Usually I don't have like colors that like I focus on. But the color red, you know, I don't know what this could mean. It's going to be different for all of you because I, I sense that for some of you. <laughs> I just heard you saw red. <laughs> okay, so maybe this is like a literal message I'm getting like you were so angry, so upset at what you found out. 
that you literally saw red. I'm also getting like anger, red anger, like an angry face. It was very painful though, whatever this was. Okay, let me move on because otherwise I'll like get stuck here. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Four of Pentacles and then the Seven of Cups. Some of you didn't see this. You were blinded by something. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles is here. So maybe you thought that someone was putting in effort. Maybe you thought that someone was actively working on something. Um, maybe you, you were putting in a lot of effort into this connection. But I think that you were not able to see something that was right in front of you is what I'm getting here. Maybe someone lied and all this time you never even suspected them, right? Or you never even thought that it, that was a possibility. Can I get one more for this Three of Swords? Why is the Three of Swords here? Yep, yeah, this was difficult. Ten of uh, Wands, and then there's the Death card at the bottom of the deck. So something must have ended here, or this possibly caused a separation. Red flag. There's something with the color red. <laughs> I can't let that go. Might be doing with a Scorpio. Spy Pisces is here, Libra is here, Taurus is here, Gemini is here. I don't think the sign is really as important, but I, this is more about like an ending. Something ended because of whatever happened here. Someone could have been caught red-handed, right? There's something with the color red. I don't know. I Typically, I don't focus on things like that, but like I keep thinking that and seeing like the color red. Tell me more about the overall energy here between Aquarius and this other individual spirit. What's the overall energy for this connection? What's the overall energy for this connection? Tied up. Okay, that's like that Eight of Swords. It's trapped, stuck, burdened. Someone could be feeling a bit stuck. Difficult decision. Okay, stuck in making a decision. Bottom of the deck, we have breathe in. This is really a card about like healing, rest, very um, similar to the Four of Swords, which is already here. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? I'm also getting, you know, a whole different message here. I still feel that, yeah, okay. I still feel there's gift. That there was a, you have a history with this person, you know, that they really hurt you. Something happened that was very painful. But now I see justice and the seven of wands is reminding me of this four of cups. There I have a gift there. This could be somebody coming back after all of this has happened and wanting to manifest something new. But they're afraid that um, you won't be open to this. So you're going to be like this seven of wands, like back off. That could also be, you know? And there's a difficult decision tied to that. I'm not sure. Maybe that decision is yours to make, right? The decision is difficult for you to make. Let's look at your energies. You have the lovers. So I find that very fascinating because the lovers is about kind of, you know, divine partnerships, union, but it's also about decisions so let's see tell me about the the lovers now aquarius i have you on the left and your person on the right but feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more for you tell me about the lovers the chariot cancer energy tell me about the lovers please the king of swords okay tell me about the four of swords why is the four of swords here why is the four swords here? The ace of wands. Okay. I think the decision, you're you're trying to be smart about this decision. This person is going to come forward with an offer with that gift energy. Yep, justice and the knight of swords. So they're going to come forward and talk to you, king of swords. 
justice. But I feel like this is also energy of like, you don't want to let your emotions carry you away. You want to make the right decision. You want to get all the facts. And you're determining if you even want to move forward. Didn't you have this reading before? Yeah, someone's wanting to come forward. They're afraid of rejection was the last reading. And before that, someone wanting to be with you, wanting to win you back. Yeah, there's someone in your midst, Aquarius, that wants you back. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? Wow, tower and the death card. <laughs> As if that's not any more clear. This person wants to make this right. Whatever happened between you, I think a tower happened. They might even surprise you with this with the tower. Tell me about the seven of wands. Five of pentacles. Tell me, yeah, this person's afraid of rejection. Tell me about the seven of wands. Two of wands. They're afraid, yeah. They're, they're gonna have to take a risk here with the fool. I also feel like, you know, in their mind, they're thinking, well, Aquarius might never go for this, you know? This decision they have to make, whether to be with me or not, um, it's completely up to them. And I, I, I'm scared. I know that that comes up in a lot of readings, but you have to understand the tarot is about the real life, what, you know, humans, <laughs> how humans actually interact. How humans act, you know, this isn't like a fairy tale where you're hoping that, you know, someone's going to be completely anti-human and just do everything like if it was a movie. No, most humans in love are terrified. <laughs> There's a lot of fear wrapped up in love because love is all about vulnerability. You're, you're literally being vulnerable and putting yourself in a position where you could be heartbroken. You know, you have to trust in your partner not to hurt you, <laughs> to still love you um, for all your faults. You know, I don't want to get into like a whole love TED talk or anything, but, you know, relationships are hard. They take work. They take effort because we're human beings. Tell me about Aquarius. What do we need to know about Aquarius? I'm torn. Yeah, you're not sure what to make of this person's offer message tell me about the person aquarius is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about aquarius this person i can't let you go yeah this person's still thinking about you even after whatever happened and i think that they whatever they did because i feel like maybe this was also something you you did you know Take it as a resonance. Whatever happened here that was painful to someone, it was a big deal. This wasn't like a white lie. I feel like this is a situation that got out of control. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. What do we need to know about their energy spirit? What do we need to know? Oyster. Clamped shut. Um, holding back. Keeping something inside. I feel like you, you know, you still have a lot to tell this person. Or you, you, maybe there were things unsaid. Maybe you kept something back or are holding back from telling this person something. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is has or will be dealing with, Spirit. What do we need to know about this individual? Okay, the swan. This came out in Libra's reading as well for their person. Swans, you know, very creative energy, creative expression. Reflective as well. As you can see, there's like a reflection in this in illustration. I think that they have something to tell you. Um, they might write you a letter, write you a text or something like that. Um, 
Can I get one more for this person that Aquarius is dealing with? Can I get one more energy, please? For this person. Okay, we have sudden wealth, which is kind of like the Wheel of Fortune. It's like hitting the jackpot. A lucky break. Yeah, this person is hoping for like a miracle. Because they can't let you go. But do you feel the same way? You're torn. So I feel like the ball is in your court. And that terrifies them. I don't know who this says. Let me know, Aquarius, if this resonates for you in the comments. But I feel like this is an ongoing reading. Um, I feel like you have a decision to make about this person, about the past as well. Do you want to go back to the past? It's going to be up to you. So that's what, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.